as you gaze into the vastness of space and take in the dazzling dance of billions of stars. Each one seems to raise a silent question that has plagued humanity for ages. Are we the only ones in the cosmos? Now, a groundbreaking instrument has entered orbit. This is the James Wood Space Telescope marble technology that functions like a powerful magnifying glass. Offering unparalleled clarity in describing the nitty-gritty details about distant planets, in recent times it has focused on an extraordinary target, K21AB, a mysterious exoplanet. K218B's initial observations sparked a wave of excitement within the community of scientists. This celestial body was no ordinary planet. Not only did KB28B exhibit the presence of water vapor, a potential indicator of habitability, but it also contained a molecule that aroused deep intrigue, a molecule often associated with biological processes on Earth. Could this be the momentous revelation? Humanity was waiting for the existence of extraterrestrials. In this video, we'll delve deeper into K218b. Investigating the scientific challenges and far-reaching implications that could reshape our understanding of the universe. Let's embark on an investigation of the first tangible image of K218b. Located 120 light-years away, K218b is a super-Earth within its solar system. Distinguished by its classification as a sub-Neptune, unlike anything in our own cosmic backyard. This planet is larger than Earth but smaller than Neptune-defying conventional planetary categories. This distinctive status raises a considerable challenge for scientists attempting to unravel the mysteries of K218b, whereas rocky planets such as Mars and Earth serve as benchmarks for hypothesis building. Distant gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn offer only tentative comparisons for understanding. This faraway world, however, sub-Neptunes without equivalents in our cosmic neighborhood, remain a mystery. According to the data currently available, some fascinating theories emerge. K218b, for example, orbits within its host star's habitable zone a red dwarf, called k 286 raising the possibility that its surface may harbor liquid water. Similar to Earth's oceans, it is crucial to note that K218b's orbit around its host. Star is much closer than Earth's orbit around the Sun. A single astronomical unit, astronomical unit represents the average distance between Earth and the Sun. K218b is only 0.18 astronomical units from its star closer than Mercury is to the Sun. So close, in fact, that a year on K218b lasts only 13 Earth days. Fortunately, K218b's host star, K218, is a red dwarf, which means it emits less heat than our Sun. This prevents K218b's surface from being scorched to a crisp unlike what would happen if it were so close to our own star. In fact, K218b's lower luminosity has turned out to be an advantage because it has allowed signs of vaporized water to be found in K218b's atmosphere. Revolutionary discovery that suggests the presence of biological signatures similar to those we would find on Earth. The speed with which methane breaks down under solar radiation only increased the excitement. The JWST also found carbon dioxide CO, a more common atmospheric component. However, the combined discovery of methane and CO was just the beginning. Dimethyl sulfide DMs. Unlike methanes not commonly found in Earth's natural environment, it is a molecule produced exclusively by biological processes. Its finding is particularly intriguing. Given that K218b orbits a red dwarf star known for its intense radiation and generally considered inhospitable to life. However, K218b defies these expectations. This is crucial because on Earth, DMs is only produced by life mainly by microorganisms found in the oceans. It is known to be a reliable biomarker if discovered in a planet's environment. It's predicted. It is therefore essential that the planet receives a similar level of radiation and is located in the habitable zone of its star system where temperatures are neither too hot nor too cold for liquid water to exist. 
as long as there is a stable atmosphere. K218b could have temperatures comparable to those of Earth, despite being so far away. Dominating hydrogen would result in its oceans being slightly warmer than those on our planet. The closeness of the planet and its star is such that they could be regarded as close friends. Because of their proximity, surface water cannot dissipate. This is of significant importance, particularly in light of recent studies indicating that surface water might be something that sets it. Apart from distant planets like A28b, keep an eye out because we will shortly reveal information regarding the mystery in 2021. The Hayon World's astrophysicist Nico Mattis became well known for his space-based discovery of DMs. This suggested a new group of additional planets. Described in a fascinating article that appeared in the Journal of Astrophysics, these are sub-Neptunes cradled beneath a thick, hydrogen-rich atmosphere. Mattis has decided to refer to this class of planets as Hyannic, a name that suggests something unknown and enigmatic in nature. If these water giants exist, they will be completely distinct from anything we have ever seen before. Although, they could be as much as 10 times as massive as Earth and located at twice Earth's current distance from the Sun, they would burn like a steam furnace. Yes, they will be incredibly hot, with temperatures close to 200 degrees Celsius. What would define them, on the other hand, would be awe-inspiring. They may contain a massive layer of water that could account for up to 90% of the planet's mass. This vast ocean, at least theoretically, could contain the potential elements necessary for basic microbial life. These dense atmospheres would trap heat from the star allowing liquid water to exist across a much wider variety of distances from the star. Compared to sub-Neptunes, rocky planets like Earth are fairly typical, but hyannic worlds benefit from this extended habitable zone. This makes them ideal targets in the search for life beyond our own. From a distance, larger planets are easier to find, resulting in them. Being prime targets for our telescopes, Dr. Masudin's team makes use of the cutting edge. James Webb Telescope for observing K28BA possible alien world. This tool could be crucial in our search for extraterrestrial life. But there is a challenge. Despite modern technology like the James Webb, detecting these ocean worlds is a difficult task. The key to unlocking the secrets of K218B lies in a meticulously planned observation, requiring a total of five hours split into two distinct observing periods. K218b played an important role in a celestial occurrence known as a transit. When a conceivably comparable world transitions between us and its parent star directly, James Webb captured the light passing through K218b's atmosphere during this transit. The beauty of this technique lies in the star's distinctive fingerprint. Light communicates universally like a language it demonstrates the fundamental composition of the material it interacts with. By separating the light into its individual wavelengths, similar to how a prism breaks down white light into a spectrum, scientists can analyze this fingerprint too. Identify the molecules present in the planet's atmosphere. If specific wavelengths are missing from the final spectrum, it becomes an important clue to understanding the chemical composition of the distant world, allowing researchers to form a complete picture of this environment. Let me know what you think in the comments box. If you enjoyed the video, keep in. Mind to subscribe and like it to spread the word to more people. Thank you so much for keeping an eye out, and I'll see you in the coming video.